This is for ropes, it's the outside. By which your material eyes can be projected more. You can see more. But if I say you have to see inside, you can't turn your eyes back to see inside. That you cannot do. So what is the method by which you can see inside or feel inside or go inside? Through our eyes, our, our attention goes out, we see everything. But supposing tomorrow something topples down, immediately our attention is attracted towards that happening. So inside us there must be some arrangement, some happening that must be attracting our attention inside. And that's how we must be going inside. We have evolved from Amoeba to this stage. We are human beings. Our evolution has come through. Our attention fixed outside. The happening has to go inside. But the evolution so far has been by going outside. Like some fishes fell the land and tried to crawl out and they became the reptiles. The reptiles wanted to run fast so they developed four legs as a tortoise. As animals, they could not eat, so they raised their heads. Things at the height they could not see, so they raised their body more. So all the evolution so far has come through the urge of seeking on them, but it has been outside. We have been seeking food. As human beings, we have seeking power. We have been seeking money, possessions, comfort. But now the seeking has to go with it. For example, when we are building a house, we build all the outside and everything properly. When it is all done outside, then you go inside and start decorating. In the same way, you have to go inside to achieve the last breakthrough. For example, we have made a fortress for ourselves and we have to enter inside the fortress to enjoy it. We have to penetrate inside the house to enjoy it. But our attention is outside. We cannot go inside. So something has to happen that you are to be sucked in. Some sort of a vacuum is created inside by which you are sucked in. It's a beautiful arrangement which has been sahaja, means spontaneously growing in it. 